Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector, and today we're going to do a follow-up of this video, which was the expected puff value of a Lost Origin pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the numbers, see how these numbers change, and if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. I not only take a look at raw card prices, but I also consider PSA-created cards into the model to see how the numbers change. So we're basically going to see if the numbers have increased. You can already guess the answer. As we are going to do a box break here on the channel. These are Lost Origin blisters, and I'm going to tell you the price I'm selling them at as soon as we take a look at the expected pack value. So without further ado, I don't think Lost Origin needs much of an introduction. We know about the Tina, we know about the Aerodactyl, the two main chase cards when it comes to alt arts. There are four alt arts in the set, and the fun fact, they're all listed as ultra rares. And then I think the two honorable mentions are the Pikachu V and V Max from the Trainer Gallery. Now, for reference, raw card prices are taken from TG Player. When it comes to PSA grade cards, I look at eBay Last Souls via price charting, as you can see here. And then obviously PSA pop reports when it comes to all the math, which I'm going to explain in just a second. And then the poor rate data is also taken from TG Infinity, which is basically TCG Player. So without further ado, I'll say that let's get straight into numbers. Now, full disclaimer, this is the second time I record this because first time I wasn't recording my screen. So if I do look tired or in a rush, you know why, my apologies, very tired, busy studying these days as if, if you've been around the channel, you should know, I'm down to my next exam before I can graduate, I'm a mathematician, hence why you see all this nerdy stuff. So I don't want to waste your time, just like I'm sure you wouldn't want to waste mine. I'm going to show you the numbers in just a second of what are the expected pop value with and without PSA graded cards. However, there are some assumptions that need to be made in order for these numbers to work. So don't complain if you open cards and then you, what you see don't reflect these numbers, obviously. The numbers are, when it comes to raw prices, we are expecting $1.66 out of a pack on average, whereas three months ago, we were expecting $1.23. Now, when it comes to PSA grade cards, three months ago, we were looking at $1.57 out of a pack on average, and uh, today, we're looking at $2.13, which is actually quite the difference as you could have expected. Now, what are the assumptions I was talking about? Number one, we're assuming that every car in what I like to call a rarity slot is equally distributed. What does it mean? I'll take the alt art for um, as an example. Pulling a Giratina V has a same probability of pulling a Rodom V, which has a same probability of pulling a Redactyl, and so on. So that means equally distributed. Why does it help? Well, that helps with, with the math because we can then take what I call the average, which is basically you sum all these numbers, divide them by the numbers they are, and that is called the sample mean. Now, the sample mean is a estimator, which is actually, which has some property, which I'm not gonna bore you with. The mean is a theoretical value. You cannot calculate the mean. You can estimate it, and we're using the sample mean as a estimator, which has some property that are useful in our calculations. Again, this is not the math video. It's not a math channel. Just trust me on it. It's a good enough estimator for the purpose we need to achieve. So that's assumption number one. Assumption number two is when it comes to PSA graded cards, um, the assumption is on the pop report. So as you can see, I only consider PSA 9 and 10s. Now, when I do that, I'm assuming that I open a pack, the pack wasn't damaged, and uh, as soon as I pull the card, I sleeve it and I send it to PSA no matter what. I don't look at it. And I'm assuming that everyone else that sent the cards to get graded did the same. Now, Barrett, what are you saying? That's not how it works. I know these are, it's not really an assumption, a realistic assumption. I know that many people, hopefully as many as possible, do what is usually referred to as pre-grading. So they look at the cards, they inspect it based on experience, knowledge, blah, 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 so on and so forth. They can already tell whether it has a good chance or not of getting a 10. Now, we don't know if people did that. Most likely, many of those who sent them to get graded did. 
some other could have only one in a slab and they send no matter what. So we don't know. However, for these numbers to work, we need to make the assumption that we're going to pull it and send it and then we're going to see the same. That's how it works. Now, if that is confusing, just let me know down in the comments. I'll try to explain it to the best of my abilities or else just join the Discord and uh, as there, I'll also try to be as clear as possible. By the way, if you want to claim your spot for the break, just join the Discord and mess me there as I already made the announcement for Discord members. Also, I forgot to say, I'm selling these bad boys at three euros and 50 cents, which is, as you can see here, much higher than this number, but I'm sure it's much lower than many other people that are doing this type of content. So obviously you, it's hard, it's all nearly impossible to buy packs at expected value. However, I try my best to give you guys the best prices out there. So that being said, a few honorable mention, the Giratina V of the regular ultra rare has gone down from about $10 to two. Same for the, the V star, the rainbow rare, both the Giratina and the Aerodactyl have gone up as well as the Pikachu V max and the Pikachu V from the channel gallery, as well as all the alt arts. So, Actually, we can learn something from it. If you want to, let's say invest, if you want to buy a car with the intent of making money and try not to lose it, then uh, the best from, I mean, there's only one set. You will need to look at all the set. And even if you look at all the set, you will need to take a risk. That has to be said. However, looking at Lost Origin, you can make a case for many other sets, which doesn't mean it's going to happen again in the future. We know that. Hope you, know, hope you know that, but it looks like it will be a safer move to put your money in a card that is ready sought after, wait till it drops and then buy it rather than put a, your money in a card that people don't want. Even if it's rare, like the, these rainbow rares are hard to pull. So even if they're $4, they're actually hard to pull. They're $4 because nobody wants them. There's no demand. So. I mean, we can try to learn rather a better idea to put money inside that it's already pricey than something that it's not, which I'm putting myself here in, in a, in a, in a big hole. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll shut up, but so I'll just make a video on it. Um, uh, forget about it, but hope you, hope you get what I'm saying. It, it, it all comes with the risk. Uh, as you guys know, I like to take, I like to talk more about risk than, uh, reward. Um, unlike many other people, but, uh, yeah, just forget about it. That, that's not the video for it. So what can we learn? Well, if we've seen single prices going up, especially the alt arts, which brought the expected value up. And uh, again, one, one last thing before I end the video, the expected value doesn't mean it, what you can expect in terms of value. It's a bit misleading. Expected value comes from uh, basically a mathematical tool, which is basically the mean. It's It basically stands for what you can expect hence expected value in terms of monetary value of the cards you're going to pull. It, it, I stress about it because I see many people confusing value with price and I have a video on my to-do list about it. So I just want to state that clear, but um, yeah, just me being a nerdy mathematician, forgive me. So that being said, these are the numbers. Hope you enjoyed this type of video as it does take quite some time to do all the research, update all the numbers, so on and so forth. If you do, then if you could leave a like and uh, perhaps subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any updates. That being said, hope you see you in the Discord soon and thanks for watching.